Hello and welcome to Daddy and the Big Boy. I'm Ben McCain, the Daddy. And I'm Zach McCain, the Big Boy. You know, the last show was about your Lego sports car mm -hmm. and the beef jerky from Bucky's, the Steakhouse beef jerky. I think YouTube has a policy where if the adult isn't doesn't show up in the video, then they disable the comments. Are you aware of that? Maybe because they think it's for kids. Well, I, I put in there that it's not for kids because we have a lot of adults and we have some kids watching too. But I think they do that to protect children. But I was gonna say, I got some text and messages saying how much they enjoyed your Lego sports car. Thank you. So, thank you folks for the messages, although they weren't, uh, they weren't showing up as comments, but I think they kind of came in through a uh, back channel and then some folks were also texting me. And we also talked about the steakhouse beef jerky from uh, Bucky's. That was just very, very good. People are still commenting and I didn't realize that Bucky's was a Texas company until I started doing some research, but I guess they started in Texas. And you know, they promote the fact that they have the world's cleanest restrooms. Did you know that? No. <laughs> but do they? Do you think well, so? They were, well, when I went in there, I thought they were pretty clean. I just thought that was kind of like a carnival background, though. Uh, it sounded like a carnival or a circus. Huge. Risk it on. What is it? Risk it on, risk the, it on the board. Risk it on the board. And it's like a hundred times bigger than a normal gas station. Yeah. It's huge. Yeah, I don't know how many. I probably should do some research on how many gas pumps they had. But then we were screaming, risk it on the board. But it's great. It's a great deal for. Uh, beef producers because they're putting out they're putting putting out the beef selling the beef to the public we are in middle tennessee it has been extremely cold and we've had some rain and i wish we could send that rain to west texas because we sure do need it and we're all wrapped up i'm all layered up i know i've noticed sometimes in the morning you'll you will wear your put another coat on and then you go to school I like that this. and you just uh, sometimes I put a coat over it yeah and your mom always went yeah you kind of put a coat but then when you get on the bus you hand me the coat uh-huh because is it because you're a tough guy or because you're just running on you're kind of hot yeah you're running hot hot yeah running hot huh? yeah, hot yeah it's airplane yes yes indeedy yeah, the leaves are, uh, it's not nearly as green as it uh, is during the the summer, because boy, it gets green here in the summer. It's kind of like, uh, these are kind of like West Texas trees right now, you know, mm -hmm. in the back. There's the airplane, it's going yeah. that way. Generally a Southwest Airlines big plane, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it was. Well, we have, uh, we're sitting out here on the, in the swing area here in Franklin, and uh, we've got our own tripod. stand, tripod, and we're not having to involve your mother in this because she's, she's Sounds making, she's peaceful. making, she's making dinner right now. Yeah, it is kind of peaceful. Yes, indeedy. But it's been a little chill, chill. I've got layers. I've got. We've got three layers got on. A shirt. You got a shirt, and then you're. And all those are like camo camo pants. Camo yeah. pants. Yeah. Got his camo pants on. And then your camo hat. Yeah. Camo cap. Yeah. Hey, your pictures. We got your pictures today. You know, you did the retakes, and uh, you, <laughs> Zach. Uh, you you said last year we. You had you to wear. Just controlled me. You the whole controlled time. you with what you were wearing for your pictures, yes. and he said this year, I just want to do my own thing. Mm -hmm. He said I just want to do my own thing. So, the first time you took pictures, it was in a gray T-shirt, and got yeah, a pretty black good picture. Shorts. And and you got a pretty good picture and black shorts. And then uh, 
This last time you got you were wearing this, but with but a camo shirt. Yeah, have you seen that picture yet? Uh, no, not yet. Yeah, well, it was interesting, but uh, he wanted to do his own thing, right? Mm-hmm. Want to do his own thing? Well, I, I understand. I mean, you're eight years old, and you want to do your own thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Hello, hello. There's this. We got a dog park right over here, and people love. Get, let bring your dogs over and let them, let them run. Who let the dogs out? Who, who, who let the dogs out? Then you, you were playing that last night, and you uh-huh. said Ron, your cousin Ron, you really used to like that song, right? Yeah, that's it. That, that was very popular at one time. Who let the dogs out? Thank you all for watching, uh, Daddy and the big boy. We're just. Uh, living life. It's a little chill chill. It's going to warm up though before you know it. Warm up here before you know it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And uh, we want to just tell others subscribing. Don't they say something about ringing the bell? I don't know yeah, what. Yeah, that's like a notification. They ring and ring the bell. They say subscribe and ring the bell. I hear the different YouTubers say that. Yeah. Do you consider yourself a YouTuber or is it we just have a show. Or do you consider yourself... Both. Like, both, huh? We have a show in... <laughs> in they also call them influencers, too. Did you know that? No. Yeah, they do. They call them influencers. You're an, and it, isn't Jake Paul and... Jake Paul and his brother Logan, they're, they're big-time uh, influencers, right? I think they're into boxing and wrestling now, too. And one of them got hurt. The other day. WWE. Hey, brother! And- how you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, I haven't seen you in a while. Well, you got, you got a it did. It did. Hey, That's right. Have a good one. Have a good one. That's one of so, our na- one of our neighbors that uh, we see him walking. When it's warmer, we're all out walking and trying to get exercise. But uh, man, it's been it's been chilly, chilly. I think Logan Paul did. Um does WWE? That's uh, the wrestling. And then the brother Jake yeah. is the boxer, right? Uh-huh. And they're giving him, they're criticizing him because he's, he's, uh, I think he's undefeated, but they say he needs to fight a real boxer or something like that. I don't know why they say that, but that's like a, I think kind of what they said in Rocky, the Rocky movies, you know? Yeah. About Apollo Creed. Yeah. Apollo Creed said that about Rocky, right? No, that um. The fans were saying that he needs to fight a real guy. They were saying that to Apollo Keep Creed, mm-hmm. saying that Rocky was just kind of a bum. Kind of a oh, that's, that's harsh. What they isn't said. It? Hey, you know, speaking of uh, Sylvester Stallone and Rocky, Zach really, really likes Stallone, don't mm-hmm. you? And we've been watching Tulsa King. <laughs> yeah, he's a gangster. He's a gangster. It's the first time he's ever played a gangster, like, I think. Isn't he like from something called the Mafia? Yeah, the Mafia. And uh, he's from New York. And they send him to Tulsa. And it's, uh, I don't know, it's a pretty good show. It's a pretty Tulsa good King. show. Tulsa King. And then I guess he's going to do a reality show with his, uh, with his wife and his daughters. So uh, that's going to be... Uh, Interesting, but he's a pretty funny guy, isn't he? Yep. Yep. But Zach and I, we, we you know, I have a cousin. I, I ask her if she, she lives in the Tulsa area, and I ask her if she, uh, if, if she's watched the Tulsa King, and she said she didn't like Stallone. I said, man, don't, don't tell Zach that because, because he might think you're, uh, I don't know, maybe a communist or something. Because or you, a Russian spy. A Russian spy or a communist or something like that because you really like, you, I said, you like Rocky, you like Expendables, Rambo, Rambo and also the Escape Plan. Remember, he was he had yeah. an, he, he played a, a guy in, I think, three and Escape Tulsa Plans. King. What's that? And Tulsa King. And Tulsa King, yeah. He's he's uh, doing the Tulsa King. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's pretty funny. And it shows how he, a guy that's been in prison for 25 years and... And uh, is uh, and he's seventy five. He's seventy five, and he's in seventy five years old, and he's in in Tulsa, and shows him reacting, uh, interacting with the the Oklahomans. And Butch and I have such a uh, soft spot in our hearts for uh, Oklahoma. How much we loved it when we were there from nineteen eighty one to nineteen ninety four. 
I was actually there a year before Butch, and then he came and came on board. I was there from 1980 to 1994, but good memories of of Oklahoma. I didn't spend a lot of time in Tulsa, but but I'm sure enjoying we're enjoying the Tulsa King. It comes on every Sunday, and we watch it on Paramount Plus. Mm -hmm. And you know, I was I was spending six dollars. But then they kept playing the commercials, so I bumped it up and spent to like $9. Uh, to nine dollars, so we don't have to do the commercials. Eight. Remember, I asked you. I said, uh, "Have you noticed anything?" And you go, "What?" I said, "No commercials." And you go, "Oh yeah, <gasps> yeah." Again, thank you for watching, Daddy and the Big Boy. I'm Ben McCain. Subscribe, like, ring the bell, leave mm -hmm. comments. Don't you close it out? See you next time. Bye. I'm going to jump out. Aren't you going to? I know, but aren't you going to do your... You haven't been doing your... Oh, yeah. Your deal, I man. Will. Your Your deal. What's your deal? Isn't this what you do? Man, it's chilly out here. Okay, you going to do your deal? You going to do it? See you next time. Bye.